Hello, this is Dimitri with uh, UGears US, uh, UKids LLC. Uh, we're going to be working on the next uh, model, which is a flight starter. Um, that should be one of the uh, fun uh, models to build and uh, obviously fun to play with afterwards. Uh, so this model consists of a hand starter, which you wind up and then there's a little airplane that you shoot and then it flies um, in uh, whatever direction you point it to. So let's go ahead and uh, start the assembly. Open the model up, as always. Um, check what's inside. We got a box. Uh, so there's a airplane. Uh, parts for the airplane are right inside there. And uh, let's see. If there's anything else um, so we got some rubber bands uh, we got smaller ones uh, regular size and then there's some thick ones got a little uh, sandpaper piece uh, candle wax now obviously this is parts for the airplane so I'm gonna put these aside for now and uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, open up uh, the other uh, well, actually, the boards with the manual, instructions manual. And as always, I usually put the boards on the side for now. And let's start with the manual. So there's uh, another two airplanes in here, uh, which we can assemble and, or not assemble, but uh, build. Uh, into the um, model and then let's go through the instructions so the first page just general warnings um, there is a list of the spare parts uh, if you accidentally break one or if it's gone missing or if there is a uh, um, breaks by itself with whatever the reason is so there's a list of parts that are ready on the board just as extra pieces spare com components to say they will have add plus sign right next to it and then let's go with the regular warnings or uh legend that is inside the booklet we have a little um candle wax sign with a toothpick and a gear that means every time you see it you need to wax the part uh, with a little piece of wax that was provided there. Uh, we can open it up right now. If you see the uh, exclamation point, that means uh, it is, uh, you need to pay close attention um, because uh, for whatever reason, if it's a mirror or if something else, um, this sign is for symmetry. Obviously this one is uh, if you need to use the white, uh, sandpaper, I'm sorry. And this is uh, if the parts are fragile, uh, you need to cut it out rather than uh, push it out with your fingers. Uh, this is an actual scale for the rubber bands to the size that you need to make. And actually throughout the booklet, if you see, uh, it will show you the dimensions on there. And actually those are two size also. So you can uh, just use that in, uh, and measure your uh, rubber band to that uh, picture in the book. Um, then there is a helping tool uh, somewhere on the boards. And uh, let's see uh, which you can use to uh, push out the parts and or um, uh, let's see where it's at. Don't see it yet. Um, oh, it's right here, right on the board number one in the bottom corner here. So like a little helping tool that you can use out to push like a smaller pieces out just by pushing right into it, or actually with this uh, little piece sticking out in the back. Um, so let's put the boards aside for now. There's also I notice on the board number two, there's uh, also a ruler on here, measuring tool, it's in millimeters, uh, should correspond to the regular dimensions. Uh, so it is two scale also, so you can use that as well. All right, so we got our helping tool and let's go ahead and start with the assembly. Oh, just uh, come back a little bit uh, for the spare components. If you break any other ones that are not 
Here you can uh, contact, uh, if you purchase the part or you purchase the model directly from me or one of my affiliates, you can contact me at uh, info at uh, ugears.us and I will send you the replacement at no charge. Uh, otherwise, uh, the replacement at no charge is from the manufacturer. Uh, they ship from Ukraine, so it takes about three to four weeks for shipping. Um, unless you want to expedite, uh, then it's $3.50 uh, for the um, uh, postage, just a shipping charge. The parts are still free, so uh, if you purchased elsewhere, I can expedite it for, uh, for you to ship it from my US warehouse or uh, we can order it directly from the manufacturer. So let's go ahead and start with the assembly. Uh, we're on step uh, page number four, step number one. We need part number one. Uh, so uh, part number one is the large one right here on the left hand side. So you push, push, push it out and get part number two, uh, which is going to be to the right here. So once again, those uh, smaller parts, you can use that little helping tool, a uh, li little end on there. Now um, on the part number one, we need to see to make sure this weird opening, weird shape opening is on the left hand side and uh, the thinner portion point away from you. So this opening is right here on the left and we put our uh, number two part on the right hand side. There is a uh, two holes there. So you just put it in. The next step is uh, we use uh, part number three, which is in the top right side of board number one. So we just uh, punch that part out. And uh, with the word open uh, facing the bottom, just push it inside of that number two part that we just made. Uh, just put it in. Uh, so we need one more number two. And that part goes right where the end of that number three is at. So we just push it in and we're done with step number three. Uh, next, we're going to put that one aside for a second. We need part uh, two parts, number four and part number five. Both of them or all both parts are on here. Actually, all three parts. So part number five and then uh, parts number four are right next to the number two that we just to the left of number two that we just pulled out. So number four, uh, once again, we see the exclamation point. So these sharp edges facing towards the left with the um, away and left from you. So we insert part number five uh, with a little, so it's a little trigger type of deal. Uh, we insert it in the last three uh, holes on the right hand side with that pointy uh, to the pointing part to the left, same direction as those little sharp points. So we just insert it in. Now we pull up part number six, also top right corner in the same cluster of parts that the other parts. So if you look at that part, there is a longer side, which is B and shorter side, it looks like a letter H. Uh, shorter is A, longer is B. So with the B from the bottom of that sub assembly that we just did, with the longer side, we insert from the, the other two holes that are in there. So in order to make the insertion a little easier, you can use a candlestick on the tabs. And then it should slide in much easier and push it all the way in until those parts stick out a little bit from the other side. So we got that sub-assembly step number five done. I'm moving on to the page number five. And uh, this sub-assembly goes from the same surface it goes into the three holes that are right here, right next to the number two, upper number two that we inserted. Also, before we do that, we want to wax the sides. So along this uh, long slot, you want to sand a little bit, just a few strokes. You want around this uh, round opening. And then from the back side, same thing around the long slot. You want to apply a little bit of a sandpaper, not much, just make it a little smooth, nice and smooth. So here we need part number five with that um, tabs down. Uh, apply, you can apply a little bit of a uh, candle wax on it. We insert it right into that slot that we just opened up. And then part number seven, which is also on board number one, 
it's in a little let's see where it's at uh, halfway between the middle and uh, all the way to the right from the center line we insert part number seven into the uh, last the two tabs with the slots in them to lock that part in and so now it should move back and forth fairly easy in that slot and we move on, move on to the next step so next uh, step is we need part number eight there are two of them so and uh, they do recommend for us to pre-cut it so you look for little tiny connection points that are on there and you apply uh, your little exacto knife just to to get it out you can still try it with your fingers but there is a higher risk of you breaking the part itself so you just all you need is just to snap off those connection points and the parts will come out pretty easy from the board so we need two number eights which are on board number one then we need part number nine it will be right next to the right of it and then two parts number 10 in the top right corner along with the part number 11 that is right below them to the right so now any uh, parts that are round I'd recommend to use a little bit of uh, sandpaper I use a little file that I have you just send off the connection points so on both number 9 and number 11 connection points are that little line that are across and you want to apply lubricant on it which is a candle wax that was provided with the model on top of it uh, parts number 10 because those are gears I would also put a wax on the gears most likely they will tell you somewhere later in the manual to do that but just um, to be on the safe side I'm gonna do it right away because usually room of thumb if there is a gear there is a connection if there is a connection there's a lot of friction so we need some uh, lubrication on there so make the gears uh, make sure these two points match up and then they go through number eight on the bottom there Then you put it on and you put number 11 locking it from the back and number nine locking it from the top or front and then that goes through the center hole right here in the sub assembly there which is it so part number nine is inside there it's going to be spinning inside the uh, hole so that's why we require the lubrication on it Next, uh, we need two parts in step number three. We need two parts number 12. They're right at the center here, middle of the board. And uh, same thing here. Uh, it doesn't look like we need a lubricant on it. Uh, so I'm going to leave it off for now. And uh, these two, make sure your direction is uh, for the... Um, teeth are counterclockwise and we put two of these with uh, matching dots right next to each other just like this on to that uh, long rod number eight moving on to the page number six and next one we got uh, part number 13 and part number 14 so part number 13 is going to be on board number one bottom left we just need one of those and then part number 14 right above it so part number 14 there is a longer side B on that opening and shorter side A so we need to make sure that we insert it the right way the A is longer than B so uh, we need to make sure we get it nice On 
setup. So now we put number eights. So the longer longer side is uh, along the long axis of the board, and number fourteen also the same way along the long side. You put it right on top of number thirteen that is on the bottom there. Step number five: we need seventeen of number fifteen. Uh, you want to wax a little bit number eight that way it'll make the assembly of the number 15s much easier and also there is 17 of them in right in the center of that board we'll push them all out And once you're done, uh, did you ask us to send them off? So the connection points are actually make sure there is nothing in between. Connection points are inside the little loops, so we should be fine. Um, and go ahead and insert those. There's only one way you can put them on number eight. And that's the reason why you needed the little lubricant on there is because they are very tight sitting on it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and seventeen. So all the way to the top. Now, since they're much easier. I'm just going to apply a little bit of a sandpaper all around. Just don't press too much because otherwise you're going to get it out of shape. And then we apply wax on the outside as per the last part of Part num uh, step number seven. All right, so we're done with that. Uh, we're moving to the bottom portion. We need uh, step number one. Our parts number 16, 17, and eighteen. They all still on uh, on board number one. And um, number sixteen is bottom right next to the uh, helping tool. Number seventeen is right above that. And I'm gonna use my helping tool to get that out. Uh, and number 18 is, uh, let's see, that's going to be on the bottom all the way. All right, so we need to wax the top portion tab on there and the bottom little step there. Now number 17 goes right into the uh, top two holes. That's the first step. And then the second step, it goes a uh, little... Uh, uh, number 18 with the tab goes right into the hole below and then step number two we put number 19 part on the bottom which is a uh, top right here on the right hand side and I might as well for step number three I'm gonna take out two of the 20s so number 19 goes uh, 18 goes right into number 19 that little uh, tab or step I should say and then number 20s with that little sub-assembly pointing up, number 19 being on the bottom, uh, the sharp edge should be facing up. Uh, so it's, uh, we insert 19 and 16 into that 20, or 20 onto 16 and 19, same thing, match the direction. 
just like this facing up all right moving on to the page number seven uh, we need we're gonna put that one aside we need from board number two part number 25 top right at the center and then parts number 26 which are on board number one on the bottom right and we need four of those And that goes into uh, with a hole being on the right, uh, the little round up part facing left, we insert it into the four holes that are on the left hand side there of that unit. Once we've done that, we apply a little bit of a wax on the step right here on uh, both sides. And I would actually apply a little bit and the whole try to get it into that slot. Uh, the subassembly that we just did with a pointing towards the left top, we insert that part uh, with the little tabs right into the part number 25. Now we're gonna put it aside for a second. Step number three, we need parts number uh, 24, two of them, 23, two of them, uh, 21 and 22. So I got 23s, then 24s on the opposite side, on the right hand side. They're slightly smaller. And then uh, 22, uh, 21 is on the left here, and 22 is right above, also on the left. That one I'm gonna use the little tab to get it out. All right, so we're uh, sending parts number 24, which are a little smaller and I would apply wax on it also uh, which is on the next step but we can do it right away before putting it onto the uh, sub assembly all right so part number 22 21 goes right on it right into the on the middle Let's see. Squeeze it right to the center. Then two twenty threes on both ends, as far as they can go. And then twenty fours to lock them up. Well, not really, but and make sure it's symmetrical. The next step is uh, we insert that part with a hook into the hole that is right here on the right hand side of the sub assembly that we just did. And we put a little bit of a wax on that little hook on the long piece of that sub assembly. <coughs> so that would be locking mechanism there. Now the next step, uh, we you want to get another part number 25 on board number 2, top left. And then we wax a little bit on a little part number 26, the tabs, just to make the insertion easier. And then we wax a little hook on the bottom there. And then matching the position of the other one, Put that part number 25 in place all right nice and tight uh, that comes with pleats step number seven we're on board uh, page number eight step number se five sorry on page number seven we're on page number eight, step six. And uh, let's see. So when we turn it upside down with these little parts, when we unhook it here on the bottom, that's step one, that should come out. And then should 
come out all the way to that. Here we go. Little hook piece. And that should like it, like that uh, tab up, the little uh, hook piece. So I just forced it up just to get it uh, going. Uh, put a little bit more wax on it. And it should be good to go. Now we need uh, 40 millimeter. Uh, rubber band. Step number seven. 40 millimeter, that's <laughs> shorter one. That's the small diameter one. Yep. Just double check. That's about 40 millimeter diameter. We rotate it in half, kind of making like a looping a little bit. And then uh, once we lift that up, uh, let's see. First one, we put uh, one side onto the little hook on that extended piece that is on the inside right here. one part let's redo it again so we got both of those on there and then uh, around the little tabs here just like this so it should be on a hook and these two tabs at the top now we press it down and then lock it up here with a little hook and now we need to get another short one or a small rubber band wrap it around and make a loop make a nut and then we need about 10 millimeters so get it as close as possible to the size specified I have that nut, so we're a little larger, but should be fine. And then uh, we take a little uh, exacto knife and snap the longer part out. So now the 10 millimeter goes onto little little tabs here and around the lock. So I'll uh, put one side in. stretch it up you push it through that hole and get one end on it onto the hook and then same thing on the other side the problem is getting it all the way in so let's see if I can use the helping tool just to push the centerpiece in so it also gets hooked and here we go one side is done and then the other side is also on there so just like this so it, it needs to sit completely on that uh, two little uh, hoops we can move that uh, little nut over onto the inside so it's not sitting on the way and then when you press that It'll snap up, shoot up our portion there, a little part. Open it up. And I would put a little bit of a wax on this piece also, right at the top. So when you lock it up, you still need to kind of lift it up a little bit to get it, to get it hooked. All right, so we're done with that sub-assembly, moving on to page number nine. And then uh, we get back to that little uh, plate that we have, and there's four tabs. Put a little bit of a wax on them. And then tilting forward, we just 
on the last four holes, or let's see, no, uh, yes, the last four holes that are uh, outermost. And that we'll put it in into our sub assembly. this and we're done uh, with the step number one so step number two we need part number 27 which is on board number one and uh, top right side here and then that 27 goes right next to the side that is open into the holes two holes uh, with that little longer piece facing away Number 28, there's a little, which is also on the board number one on the right. That one goes also with that opening. There's a little slot goes away and that slot should match this slot right here on the trigger. And then we need to put a little bit of a sandpaper, which we did earlier. So we should be good on that, but still just a little sandpaper in there. And then we insert the number 28 in there also. Just like this. All right. Next step, uh, we turn it sideways. So the hand, this handle that we just attached is to the right. We use part number 29, which is on board number two. No. On the top right right here, use the tool to push it out. And then put a, cause there's a connection point. So I'll put a little bit of a sanding there. And then we wax that portion, the back face, right? And then there is a little dot on here. So that dot facing in right now and the uh, little opening facing towards left, we insert it into that hole in the 28. So, and if you move the trigger, you can get it right into the trigger hole also. Next up, we need part number 30, which is to the left, right below 54 there. So I'm gonna punch it out. And that uh, part number 30 goes right into the holes, kind of keeping the number 29 in place. Just like this. And we're done with uh, page number nine. Moving on to the page number 10. I'm gonna put that a uh, little bit on the side for right now. So we need parts number on board number two, parts number 80, 31, and 32. So 31 is a bottom left here, right above 56. 32 has a word safe on it, is it to the right, right below 25 to the right of the center line. And then number, um, that's number 32 and number 80 would be bottom right, right next to the number two. Now, so, uh, with that longer piece facing to the right and away, we put safe into the large opening, or actually 80 is first. And then part number 32 is second with a safe facing towards you the right way. Make 
manage these parts together and feed them in all the way in. Now the little tab here we need to wax and then that part goes right fits into that little safety thing that we inserted in there over the second hole from me so and then we lock it up with port number 33 and 34 which are also also both on board number two so 33 is the top right here it's actually additional one so there should be 33 right at the center right above the middle and to the right of the center line and 34 is on the other side kind of like symmetrical view So we uh, 33, we're gonna a little bit wax or sand the connection points and then apply the wax because it's gonna go inside the hole. And then 34, we push right through it. And 34, the long side should be in the shorter uh, axis of that little sub assembly. And then we put it, putting it into this hole that is second just like this it sits nice and tight in there as far as it can go and then uh, we need, we're in step number four. We need the um, little longer uh, diameter. And we should get that one to also get a nut on it and get it to about six millimeters, which is a very, very small, tiny little piece. nice and tight snap it off put it aside and then uh, it goes underneath onto that little part that we have inserted here so there's two hooks it goes on one side which should be fairly easy to put on Or not. Since it's a very tight piece and I think I got it a little smaller, probably like at four millimeter. Let's see if it's gonna be if we're gonna be able to put it on. So I'm gonna use a helping tool since you might not have the Gonna try to hook it up onto the little tab that is sticking out there. And just flew away. Good thing not too far away. Gonna give it a second try. Right, I got it hooked on there and then I stretch it out and put it on the other side and on the same hook and it jumps again and we're gonna keep on trying until we get it right so I got it on the hook on one side and then wrap it around on a hook on the other side now the little piece should have a rubber band over 
like bottom, bottom portion on the rubber band and give it a little resistance for the safe switch. Moving on to the page number 11. Now we need, uh, let's see, part number 35, which is on the top right of the board with the one with the some additional ones. Push the out, uh, the middle out. And then we have, uh, let's see, little A piece and B piece is the longer one. So we turn the handle, this front larger handle to the left and the B side goes closer to you uh, and a little bit to the left. So that goes and ins inserts over the, um, the long rod and it doesn't look like we are doing any, uh, we're not connecting it to the to anything yet. Then we open up the little trigger thing. Let's see if we can pull it out. Now with my finger, I pull the trigger and uh, lift it up. Actually, it's supposed to go open, would have a little trigger action on there. And immediately I noticed that I did it, that part number two incorrectly. So I'm gonna reach in there right now and get it out. Push the open down a little bit so that little tap is beyond that number two, which I hadn't correct in my case. And push number two right back in there. again open it up then we part number 36 which is on the left hand side with also some additional parts inside on there pull the those out and uh, that one goes to let's see with that opening towards left the two holes towards the back we slide it in and we get the little rubber band piece here onto the hook that is right in the middle of that number thirty six piece just I don't know if you can see it it's right here on that hook and then we put that one over and that should be from inside not from the outside so the rubber band should come from inside. So I'm gonna unwind it and then put it back on. Make sure it fits in all the holes properly. There's four of them right now. And once you get it in, it's all correct. Uh, we're done with step number six on page number 11. Moving on to the page number 12, which is not marked. And we need to insert 13, this one is still wobbling around the bottom piece, right? Let me double check, yep. So now we insert num 15 number 13s, which are all on board number one, and there's some on board number five. So we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 are on board number two. And now it says for correct operation of the rubber motor, it is necessary to adjust the height of washers number 15 with the help of additional washers number 15A. 
installing them on the axis so that the tip of the spike is about one millimeter free and the height of washer number 13 using washer number 13a respectively so they're flush with the top edge of part number 14 to the bottom edge of part number 36 figure number three page 12. so let's uh figure that one out all right let's go ahead and then and put those on so we do one now i move them all the way down to the base two three four Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So now we have fifteen of them on there. And then we check the height and that should be the bottom of part number 13 when it's tight on the, on the stick or number eight it should be about at the bottom of this piece number 36 right should not stick out on there and then we use Towards number 15A and 13A. It's actually part number 15. So if that one is a little bit below, then you use 13A to get the uh, to the correct height. Because this is a little bit thinner board. So in our case, we need about two of number. 15 that's all due to the actually number 15s are on there so we don't need to worry about that um so if we do have about a millimeter sticking out on there so if we wanted to adjust it we need to take the top 5 15a and put one on there the shorter one a little shorter so i got about a millimeter sticking out which is what we're looking for and then the bottom of the 13 is uh, matching the bottom face of that part number 36 so it should be like at that level right here now uh because of the board thickness there is a little bit of variation so you might need to if it comes out if your uh number 13s come out a little bit higher so you take the regular 13s out and you put 13 a's on there to make it thinner so like that bottom portion levels out or like their 13 is level with the um that part number 36 now and the same thing with the 15 you take one or two out and, and mix it with the 15 a to get it to the right height so that's uh, the number eight sticks out only one millimeter so i don't need in my case i don't need these 15 is a so i'm gonna put them aside moving on to the page number 13 i guess i got lucky uh 37 and 38 they're both on board number two uh, so 37 is to the right and then 38 is on the left hand side and then here we need to see make sure, make sure the uh, teeth 37 are facing clockwise in this case that goes inside the part number 36 and then 38 goes on top of it same teeth facing the same direction that's our num uh, step number one. Step number two, we press the little safety and put the trigger, push the trigger back. First, we need the long or 60 millimeter rubber band. That's the larger thin one. Let loop it in two. And then that goes... onto the let's see little part with the uh, teeth 
So step number one, we lift up that little uh, floating piece on there. So we go the rubber band onto the hooks of the bottom portion, just like this. Then through the in, inside of that floating piece. And then we take our hook the helping tool, we line up 37 and 38, wrap the rubber band around the hook and pull it out through there. So that's, we're done with step number 13. As we pull it out, we pull it further out, we get a part number 39. And that part number 39 is on board number one so i'm gonna release it a little bit so i'm gonna move the rubber band a little further and kind of leave the hook there uh let's see so my two hands are free i'm gonna get the parts number 39 out there on the right hand side and i need a helping tool to get those out because they're tiny So well, at least we're going to get one out right now with my fingers. It's a little struggle, not much. And then with a shorter piece uh, facing up, we push it through the rubber band, get the helping tool out. And then insert it into the number 38 and number 37. Make sure it's hooked on both. And there, of the bottom piece also, just like this. And hooked on the number 39 and we repeat it four times so we need let's put punch out the other three 39 pieces we get those out and then we need Three more rubber bands. Now I'm gonna rotate that. So I'm always, that's why we needed the trigger to uh, pull back a little bit. also push the hook through uh, make sure it's uh, through the inside of that floating part pull it out turn it sideways a little bit get part number 39 in there get the hook out part number 39 in matching with the 37 and 38 and rotate it around again. Oh, got the rubber bands here. Loop them. Put them on. Push the hook through below. Hook it onto the rubber band. Pull it out. Turn it a little bit, get the part number 39 through, get the helping tool out, install 39 all the way in, and one last one.
you have some spare 39s in case if you break them all right we're done with uh, page number 14 got all four rubber bands installed now next step is uh let's see parts number 40 41 and 42 so we get combined those together so the parts number 40 and 41 on board number three get both of those out there's some spare components inside of those we get those out and then parts number 42 are on the top right of board number two use my helping tool and get them out there now uh, bottom portion with the longer uh curve towards uh, away words wind up towards you we put one over part number 40 on top no match the shapes there you go so wind up should be up and then you match the two shapes of 41 and 42 and then insert number 42 through both parts and 42 on the other side all the way through kind of like a double trouble make sure it's nice and flat and then two parts number 40 3 42 which would be on the board number one top left corner there's four of them so we just need to take two out for now and those two with the curve shape matching the curve of part number 40 we insert it into the two openings on the right and left hand side just like this now our next step and it just iterates there that the curvature should match and our next step is to uh, put that upside down with when with the longer piece facing that way wind up facing you into that little sub assembly with the little gears and make sure it enters correctly once we complete that or make sure it sits flat so like those uh, little tiny pieces will lock into the gears when needed gonna put it aside for now now we need part number 44 and 45 44 is on board number two and 45 is right above that two of them take out the center portion and then the wording facing you we insert it into the center hole on the right and then one hole on the left all the way through to the surface done with page number 15 moving on to the page number 16 now with these two openings locking on here we insert that part into the slots of parts number 41 and 42 and then there is two little openings there that we need to get those little tabs into openings and get the parts kind of have to blindly 
find those spots to push them in and to lock it in. Make sure it's locked it, locked on. And we use part number 46, which is the center of board number two, to put a, to lock all these little parts number 39 there. Once we complete that, I think that's as far as it can go. We go to step number three, which is uh, part number 47 on the bottom right. Parts number 49 there, let's see, and 51. Part number 49 and 51. 49 is on board number one. There's one right here. And then 51s are on the board number two on the right hand side here with the little holes. So with the uh, U-gears facing away and the little tabs facing towards left, 49 with the little hook also facing to the left, we go into the two uh, openings, the rightmost openings. And then uh, with the holes also facing on the left, we're doing the same thing with parts number 59. So they all go into the rightmost, well, two right right hole, and then one skip one and second from the left or third from the right. Then we take part. It's number forty-eight, which was right below forty-nine, and then part is number fifty. We're Put the board on the side for now. And same thing, they're facing in the same direction, the little hooks, or not hooks, but the shape. And the holes facing to, towards right now. We insert those from the opposite end. Now we take parts number 52, two of them, they're also on uh, board number two, bottom right. There's a uh, long parts to it, so careful not to snap those off. Get those two out. And then uh, these top tabs should face the same direction. Insert those right in the middle to the little tabs that are made by these parts. Just like this. And we're done with that sub assembly, page number 16. See, we got a little bit left. Okay, we're on uh, page 17. Uh, let's see, step one. Uh, we need to put that uh, sub-assembly onto the unit. Uh, so insert it into the, uh, let's see, two holes, four holes right here. So there's four holes outside and there's one in the center to actually in the center that uh, it has to fit into. And then uh, into these two holes right there. So we're gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of wax on all the tabs.
for that. And let's see, now um, turn it the other way around. And uh, the other two, number 43s, push them out. And those two, once again, in the same directionality or the shape of the inner circle, we insert them on the sides here. So they go like right into this spot right here. On one side and then on the other side. So I think this one's a little bit easier to access first. So I'm just gonna do that one. side is good and then the other side also just a little so we insert oh, it's falling up I insert the largest side first and then squeeze it in into the in between the teeth and uh, and the unit now we need to push down the that little part we had set and let's see there's one hole on one side and one hole on the other side and through that uh, the hole that is closest to the trigger here those are the ones that we're gonna put the part number 53 through so part 53 is located on board number two. It's in two pieces. So there's one says make 15 rev max. Oh, sorry, that's 53. And then 54 is the one on the top left. So top left goes on to the left side with that thing, uh, sharp thing pointing forward. And then 15 revs max goes on the right hand side or if you use the trigger that's going to be on the uh, left just like this now we're done with that page 17 moving on to the page number 18. all right so the next step we need parts number 58 57 55 56 57 and 58 uh, so let's see, we're gonna look on the board number two, and uh, we got parts number, I got 57 here in the center. Just one of them for now. 56 bottom left. 55 right above it at 57. And 58 is gonna be on board number three. It has a little hand there. It's on the left hand side. Now, 55 is first. Just this one. Uh, with that hook facing towards right side and away from you. We put a part number 56 in. And that one with the single goes into 57 right in the middle and then 58 goes on top with the hand on the right hand side facing you R right hand and then this uh, we take a part number uh, we take that sub assembly and on uh, with it sharp end pointing to the right uh, so you were putting it on the face that uh, facing you on the side that facing you put a little bit of a wax here in this hole
and that's where that uh, pointy thing goes into and I'll actually I'll uh, do all the tabs just to make sure that it enters easier and then the first tab we, we insert them into the side here then we go bottom portion into the there's one hole into that max ref 15 we need to lift it up snap it right into there and then two tabs into the back just like this and then we do another sub assembly with the same numbers 55 56 57 and 59 instead of 58 59 is on board number three on the right hand side right below the middle here let's see facing the other direction opposite Same thing, I'm gonna wax all of the tabs here. And uh, now we turn it the other direction. So we insert the back ones first, or ones on the right hand side, I should say. Then we insert the, the little tab here. Then two tabs in the back or front by the trigger, I guess, metal in the center. And then this last one, which I forgot to wax, so it's a little harder, but still goes in fine. Just like this. And we're done with that sub assembly. That was step four. Now, step five are parts number 61. They're on board number two. I'm gonna use a helping tool there. And 60. Choose on board number three. Top right. So 60 is going to go into the, with the little tap facing towards the rubber bands, right into these two holes. Then the, on the other side, same thing towards the rubber bands. Number 60 is going to go with the large tap facing up, locking these uh, two parts together. And same thing on the other side, with a thicker portion facing up, lock the bottom and top piece together. Now moving on to the page number 19. Need a rubber band here. Uh, let's see, wrap it in two, actually the 40 millimeter, so that's the smaller one. Wrap it in two or uh, halves. 
put one on this side, loop it around, or go around this little tab. So the rubber bands just uh, keeps it back a little bit. So that's a trigger to keep it back. Now we're on the bottom side, <coughs> page number one. Oh, I'm sorry, page number 19, step number one. We're parts number 62, 64, 63, and 65. So um, let's see, 62 are on the board number two, two of them. Uh, 65s are also here and 64. So 64, we need two for this sub-assembly. Um, then 63, oh, well, we need two 65s on this one too. To distinguish them, the 64 is one dot and 65 is two dots. And then we need four number 63s on here. So I'm going to pull the whole thing out. So it's just easier to take these gears out. And I'm going to take four out right now. One, two, three. All right, I'm going to wax the gears. Once again, I always wax the gears because they always interact with something. Sometimes it doesn't say to do so, but you want to make sure that your mechanism doesn't lock up. And then we need to send down the connection points a number 64 and 65. And put a little wax on those also. Now we need to assemble two of these. That's why I took out twice the parts. So 62 goes first, 64 goes second, all the way to the end. Then you put a 63s, two of the gears, once again, all the way to the end. And then we put 65, that's the two ones locking these together same thing on the other one all the way to the end and two gears and then uh, little part number 65 which has got two dots now we need parts number 66 which is also and port number two, 65 and 64. 65 is right in the center right here and 64 is on the bottom right. And mine 65 fell out. And also we need gear 63, two of them. So that's exactly how many we get left. Once again, I'm gonna wax the gears I'm going to send down the part number 64 and 65 the little connection points and I'm going to apply the wax to them too Now 
Now we take port 66 and 64 first, that's with one dot, all the way to the end. Then port number 63, two of them. And then port number 65 with the two dots. So it's kind of like a small little gear here. Now, done with page number 19, moving on to the page number 20. Uh, take the subassembly again, and we need part number 67. There are four of them. And all four are going to be on board number one. Right here in the little a little below middle on the right hand uh, left hand side of the center line. And those go into the four holes right here right around the gear, top gear. Once we get those up, we insert the gears. And they, these two, um, the slot should be in the horizontal axis. And then uh, for both of them, so facing the same direction. And then we insert a little gear with the two dots, uh, which is 65, facing top into that third slot here. Or slot uh, hole, just like this. And now we cover it all with number 68, which is on board number three. And now uh, with a slot facing forward. So it goes through the hole onto the four little studs that we just put in the number 67. there let's see the little gears need to get into the holes there it doesn't seem like the gears are the problems it's just here you go one part number um, 67 didn't want to go in into 68 so now everything is in place, everything is good. And now we need, uh, we're in step number three done. So step number one on the bottom there, uh, we need one of the thick rubber bands cut in half. nine so about four and a half two almost equal parts and then we need part number 69 part number 69 is located on board number three right here in the middle center line 
a little above middle. I'm going to pre-cut that out. It's not an easy one to pull, pull out. And then we wrap that rubber band in half. And then we put number 69. Actually, I'm going to stretch the rubber band a little bit. Push it in and then pull out, not too much though. So try to set that uh, 69 up and then stretch the rubber bands a little bit, put it, put it, in, put, putting it in and then carefully push back a little bit to get as little gap as possible. Now we need three parts number 70. They're right here on the top left corner of the same board. Whichever ones you like. Then combine all three of them together. And uh, put that sub assembly that we just did right at the top slot here. So you got a little slot for the rubber band. And for the part number 69, so I turn it upside down and just push it further. Now we wrap it around the little wheel, just like that. And then it's the same thing with the other side. So we need to half of the rubber band, part number 69, push it in, stretch it out a little bit, push it in, pull it back a little, make sure it's all the way in. And we do the same thing, three more seat 70s. And line them up or align them. And then put part number 69 through the holes. So we'll start with the first one. Continue, push it in a little bit, continue with the second one. Push it in, and the third one at the end. Got the rubber band, and wrap it around, and we get the second wheel done. All right, two of them. So now with the little tabs facing on the inside, we put in, or 69, putting on top of the little sub assemblies that we just did. Or little stick outs. And uh, 69 should be facing downwards. I'm going to redo.
do this wheel a little bit because my rubber band sticks out too much so I'm just going to push that part out again pull the rubber band a little more back that's more successful than the first try all the way in wrap the rubber band around and then insert it onto that part number sixty-nine. if I remember correctly see mine get pulled down a little bit so I'll need to use helping tool in order for it not to go up again and then the, the part number 69 with the split facing up insert that little wheel in all right. We'll fix up the rubber bands a little bit. And then we put parts number 71 on top of it. And 71 on the top left corner. And I would put a little bit, send them down and put a little bit of wax on them also. So one of mine got a, chipped a little bit right here on the side. I can still use it or I can go to the spare part that I have on here. A little sanding and a little bit of a wax. And then we lock these two in. Because that 71 doesn't match up. So I'm going to use the one that broken one. Need to get a note on that. It's a little smaller in size. Shrunk down a little bit. And all right, so we put the 71 and 72 on the back there. 72 is right in the middle, right below the middle in the center line right here. So that one goes, uh, let's see, with the hole facing forward. Now we know where the forward, where the back is at. And then uh, step one on the right is parts number 76 and 73. So 76. So 476, 74, 76 are on the, 76 on the right, 74 on the left, or goes on the left. And then 73, so right in the middle here, or middle to the right. And then uh, 73, let's see what the tabs facing on the inside. We 
put it on the both sides then I see there's a little bit of a material left on there around the hand so I just gonna pull it out to make it look prettier and now parts number 75 on the left and 77 on the right that's a long long pieces here so I just work them around or work around to get all the connection points separated don't try to pull on one side because there's a chance it might break and then we need parts number 78 also which are little pieces left on the right side right above the middle and then part number 79 in the top right corner top left corner i apologize now we take part number 75 put in the front there's two holes, one, two holes, three, put that 74 subassembly in. Then we put uh, number 78 with the longer side on onto this uh, part number 75. And then we do the same thing on the other side. We put the subassembly 76 in. part of assembly 70 or assembly 78 with the longer side attaching into here and then 79 would be in between with the little hole right here the below the exclamation mark to clip those two together just like that and then we get that one installed right on top so we'll start from the back here going towards the center Make sure you press it from the board also and don't lock the rubber bands inside. So kind of make sure that pull them, pull them, pull the rubber bands a little bit forward. Just make sure you don't snap them with them with these sub assemblies. And if you do a little bit, make sure you free them up. Two in the center here, then make sure that little part or little um, 71s fit into the openings. And then finish up with the center ones here. You gotta be careful not to snap these pieces here. done with uh, page number 21 now we're going to build our um, little plane so we need boards number four five and one of the longer pieces the base I guess uh, we need parts number 84 and 83 Part number 82, 
over here. There's an additional one just in case. And then it goes through the uh, 84 on the outside, 83 on the inside. I'm going to push the part number 82 through them. Just until it pops on the surface here. Then we take a longer part number 81. Push that part number 82 through the hole in the front. Careful not to snap that long piece. Then we take the body of the glider. There's a, that little hole up front. Goes through that part number 82. And then we take the other number 81, which is on board number 5 or 4 whichever one you started with and we put it uh, through the other side lining them up now parts number 83 and 84 once again 83 on inside All facing the same direction and then 84 on the outside alrighty now we cut uh, another long rubber band in half now we take part number 85 which is on the bottom of board number 4 there And we insert the rubber band through that opening in the center all the way to the end. Pull it back a little bit. Let's see, push it through that opening right here. Oh no, on the bottom. Until it lights up on the other side. And then we take part number 86. Push it through the rubber band and then wrap it around and put it into the slot that is at the top of the nose. And once you get it in, we rotate it counterclockwise. Just like this until it locks up inside. So we can keep the second part of the rubber band. 
so we get a nice nose and it doesn't get damaged all the time uh, we're done with that part of the sub assembly now we take the rear wing we fold this part up parts are pre-cut so you can change the direction of weighing and that gets inserted right here in the bottom I'm gonna follow the other direction on the inside like this as far as it can go and done with page number 23 moving on to the page number 24 so we take a smaller thin rubber band and then that goes to keep the tail on around one end Let's see. There's two little slots in there, right around the wing and then on the other side. So we just keep that rear wing on on there. So there's like two two little slots. So top one goes through the top, bottom one goes through the bottom. And wrap it around. Then we need part number 87. That's the step number two. that goes into the uh, center slot right here with the little hooks facing up and now we take uh, the wing open up two little slots right here That goes down and two little flaps up and then bend these along the lines a little bit to give it like a round shape. Just slightly, you don't need to fold 90 degrees on there or anything, just give it a little bent. And then that wing the tabs going down and we slide that into the opening here then little hooks on the side that they go from through the holes that are that we just opened up like that then the bottom opening goes into the slot at the back these little tabs should be around the wood like from the other on the other side let's see tab here and then another 40 millimeter rubber band loop it around and then we put it through the hook in the front and then the hook in the back. To 
give the wing on. And now the airplane is completed. Moving on to the page number 26. There are two paper airplanes with the instructions on how to make them. So I'm going to put that one aside right now. Make the airplanes. All right, there's two of them. There's one, and this is number two. So the green one is a number two, gray one is number one. Number one is going to be on the top, my assumption. So we're going to do that one first. So that one's already folded. Then we do the top of it. Let's see, that would be the top. And we go up to the first line. But you should be able to follow these directions. And then we should fold that in half also. Once we do that, we fold diagonally to the center line, one side, and then diagonally the other side. Now we fold the bill in. Run your fingers again to get the lines nice and straight. Then we fold kind of along this line right here. And fold it on the other side. Open it up a little bit and you got yourself another good airplane. No, didn't fold it correctly. Apologize for that. How far do we need to go? Oh, there's another line here. So we'll go to the second line. There we go. So don't make my mistake. You just follow the instructions closer. <laughs> but it still should fly. Actually, no, I was correct. I stand corrected. I'll just fold that first part in the first fold that we made, and then the second one. And now I see what's going on. Now we have a nice little airplane here. Looks like a Concorde a little bit. So that's our second airplane. And then the third one, uh, same thing. We'll go from the top, actually very similar, into halves. Two sides fold in. Fold down right at, this, at the line that uh, Created a 90 degree angle, then slide 
over maybe half an inch or so and fold it to this side to the center this corner gets right to the center line probably started folding the wrong direction but The green should be on the outside. Then we fold the little tab here on the inside. And fold it in half. And now we go about half of the to the line here. And we do the same thing on the other side. the second plane beat it inside out you can go the other direction all right and the last part use only with glasses we'll do 15 revolutions so let's see a little one two three four five six seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's too much. So, need to do 15 max half revolutions. And then you release the safety trigger. And they should all lock and spin. So, because we just made it, it might take a little time to get everything settled in and readjust and one of my toothpicks fell off the top portion didn't have it sitting on here so i'll need to hook it up and bring it back on let's see line it up See if I can hook it up and bring it up, bring them up. So they just fell off the little hook or hook on the top there, on that portion. Uh, let's see. Great, I got a fix for you too. So I'm going to use my rubber bands onto the hook then I need to get it around and I need to get that part rotated somehow forward to get it on the other side Got it hooked on one side, now I need to get it to the other. Need to pull that piece out a little bit. Here we go, now it's hooked. All sides all good? No. There's one more side that is missing a rubber band. And that's this guy right here, right in the middle. disassembling or any disassembling for that matter so you got 
not sure why they fell off. Maybe I didn't have them sitting on that hook correctly. So I just need to hook it on one side and then bring it over. To the other side now it's locked so all four eight of them should be on there let's do again two three four five six seven eight nine that should be enough boom little rotational motion and wind got it next pull the safety back in Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 12, 13, 14, 15. Boom. Here you go. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Boom. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Once again, you have a lot of, this is plywood, so you have a lot of friction in there. And that's one of the reasons why I put a little bit of the uh, um, candle wax onto the gears there. So um, press the safety, squeeze the trigger, everything unwinds. It releases the airplane. Uh, one more thing, don't keep it wound up because the rubber bands, it's a natural rubber band, so they will stretch over time. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Then you can put the airplane inside there. Make sure it goes in between the little wheels. This is like this. And then I'm going to let it go and it's going to fly away. Hit my wall. So I'm not sure how well the airplane flies. And you can check it also with the paper ones. They also should lift off once again make sure you just push it down in between those little rubber band wheels that one's out so all of them work i'm not going to test the third one so if you guys have any questions uh feel free to um, comment below or send me email at info at uh, ugears.us um hopefully you enjoyed this model um and um if you need any spare parts if you, any or is are broken you need replacement you can contact me and if you purchase through me or one of my affiliates i will uh, get it to you at no charge uh, from us warehouse otherwise i can order it from uh, the manufacturer which takes about three to four weeks for the delivery or for small expedited uh, fee of 350 um, we can uh, get it out of the us warehouse with a little faster delivery uh, once again, it's info at uh, ugears.us. Any issues, comments, questions, either email or send us a comment below the video. Thank you, guys. Um, see you later. Bye.